What is urban sustainability? In this video, I'm going to investigate the sustainable city of Freiburg in Germany, as well as some congestion strategies used around the world. Welcome back to the last video in my urbanisation playlist. Again, be sure to check out the rest of the playlist, check out the link above, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the future videos for Paper 2 content. So what do we actually mean by a sustainable city? Urban sustainability is the idea that a city can be organised without excessive reliance on the surrounding countryside and be able to power itself with renewable sources of energy. In 1970, Freiburg set out to change the development of the city and wanted to focus on aspects of sustainability. They really wanted to address environmental concerns, but also consider the impact on the people of Freiburg. When starting to plan, they wanted to consider social, economic and environmental needs. The planning process included discussions and recommendations from the residents of Freiburg. We can break this down to social, economic and environmental planning. There were several considerations that went through the social planning phase. They included such things as residents could invest in some of the renewable energy sources, a big investment in windmills and solar energy systems, as well as a hydroelectric plant. There was an energy conservation scheme at a local school, free football tickets for anyone investing in these projects, and there were financial incentives for composting and taking responsibility for their own waste. Economic planning considered how many people would be employed in the industries. 10,000 people are employed over 1,500 environmental businesses within the city. There is the Solar Training Centre which provides training on solar technology. There are several solar companies based in Freiburg and the Institute for Solar Energy Systems conducts research into solar technology. There was also strong consideration for looking after the environment. That saw increasing in reusing and recycling materials. There are 350 recycling collection points across the city. 88% of packing waste is recycled. Biogas is created from organic food and garden waste. And 28,000 homes use energy from burned waste. There are three main aspects that make Freiburg sustainable. They focused on water supply, energy supply and provision of green spaces. Freiburg wanted to limit the impact that people had on water supply and they did this by reducing usage of water, increasing collection of rainwater, recycling water as well as protecting groundwater. Freiburg's water system collects rainwater for indoor use. There was the construction of green roofs which again would catch water and filter it naturally pervious pavements that allow rainwater to soak through were installed which enabled topping up of the groundwater. Limiting paving surfaces across the city would again help with natural absorption of the water and finally the inclusion of drainage wetlands provided natural treatment and filtration of water. Using sustainable energy is critical when reducing the impact of pollution and climate change. Freiburg has focused on developing policies for energy saving more efficient technologies and using renewable energy sources. They've created an ambitious target to reach 100% renewable energy by 2050, which will require further investment in renewable energy technology, as well as reducing consumption across the city in homes and businesses. Solar energy has been at the forefront of Freiburg's strategies to achieve this, as the city receives a large quantity of sunshine. Over 400 solar panels have been placed around the city and produces over 10 million kilowatts of electricity. Any excess power generated from the solar panels can then be sold to other areas. Freiburg also uses a large proportion of biogas energy which is produced from waste wood and rapeseed oil, as well as biogas from organic waste. Green spaces within cities are extremely important in many ways. They play a vital role in the sustainability of the economy and the environment. They protect and clean the air and the soil 
provide wildlife habitats as well as recreational spaces for the residents. Moving on to another aspect of sustainable cities, which is the topic of trying to address traffic congestion. Traffic congestion has lots of negative effects on cities and their residents. Air pollution, increased journey times, higher fuel consumption and the possibility of more accidents are some of the issues trying to be resolved. We're going to compare the congestion management strategies of Freiburg, Singapore and Beijing. Freiburg's approach saw them try to improve public transport by making it as attractive as possible. They did this by allowing tickets from other events being accepted on public transport, the reduction of fares as well as an extensive network with plenty of tram stops. They also invested in bike infrastructure with improvements in cycle paths, bike spaces and the provision at the railway stations. Singapore was aggressive at sanctioning car use by making it a lot more expensive to own and travel into the city with a car. The high price of car ownership reduced traffic in the city by 40%. Beijing also targeted car users by making it more expensive. They limited sales of cars as well as increasing parking fees, the congestion charge and the pollution tax. There was strict control of how many cars could enter the city each day with everyone being banned from driving for one day a week. This has resulted in a 20% decrease of car use. So that is just a quick summary of all the aspects we see going into sustainable cities. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel for more human geography topics coming soon.